Just I'd like say just immerse yourself into it. If you're really serious about it, um, you know your why. Why do you want to do it firstly? If your why is strong enough, the one tip I'd say is immerse yourself in educating yourself. Education is the single biggest factor from my point of view, I feel, um, is the transition from where we were 10 years ago uh, when we started off full-time, 2010, to now, 2020. I'd say that's where I would say we are where we are for that one reason, is just constantly learning and whether it's through publications and videos. And now there's no dearth of information out there. You know, get become part of a community. Educate yourself and, you know... Yeah, the one tip. I'm not going to go into the second and third and fourth. Yeah, I think I can. I think what Maddie's saying is absolutely correct. I mean, for someone who's going into property, you know, property has changed significantly since since when we started. There's a lot more regulation. There's a lot more to think about. We're in a different world now, Eric. We're you know where the banks, the way that things are funded, um, you know, all sorts of things have changed. So rather than getting too too complex, because we, obviously with somebody coming in new into the game. You know, there is, you know, um, there is going to be some element of um, learning, as Manny said, but there's some degree of complexity. I think get, you know, work with somebody, get a mentor, get somebody else you can shadow and just get a bit of an understanding about how the process works. Because there's a lot more to property than meets the eye. You know, a lot of the time, a lot of people make it very look very simple and very straightforward. Believe you me, you know, there's lots of nuances when it comes to property. And I would say more so now than there ever has been before. Taxes have changed, structures have changed, and I think that's gonna continue. Regulation has become more increased. Obviously for those, you know, I've got a care home background. Regulation in care home is something I've been accustomed to for many, many years. HMOs now, I think you're gonna find more and more regulation since Grenfell. Fire is gonna start becoming more are more significant, particularly with properties where they've got multiple residents. So I think these are the sort of things that people are gonna to have to start to, to taking on board. Uh, and 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 realize that you know this is going to change frequently, uh, and just if they go if they go in that with mind and learn and constantly educate themselves, keep their finger on the pulse, and as I said, as Manny said, network, speak to people who've been in the in the industry for a little while, because there's so much to learn, and you never stop learning in this industry. It's one of those things, and and I see even more so now. But there's great opportunities out there for somebody coming in now. The opportunities now over the next two or three years, I think is probably the best. So if I would urge anyone wanting to go into property, jump in now. Um, and if you have if you have uh, some finance behind you or anyone you can work with, JV with, work with mum and dad, work with uncle aunt. There's someone's got a rich uncle or a rich grandfather somewhere. So, you know, twist their arm and see if you can get something and go on. Start small, get your feet wet a little bit, and then you learn. The key thing is, you know, whether, whether it's a one bedroom apartment or whether it's a five bedroom house, the mechanics are the same, you know, and that's what we've learned. You start with one, you go to two, you go to five, you go to 10. Once you've done them, it's just a number. It's cut, copy, paste a lot of the time. But understand that whether it's commercial, whether it's residential, whatever the case may be, there, you know, at the end of the day, property has different facets, different elements to it. And it's just a question of then engineering yourself and, and working out. It's just is few tweaks between each one and the other. but that's all you'll learn in over a period of time. And that's what we've done. You know, we, we're learning and we're now going for more interesting things. In fact, our next project is a more commercial based uh, nature, which is something we're doing for the first time. But the, we're going in there with a degree of confidence because we, we really feel we know what we're doing. And Manny's got fantastic networks. We've, we've got a fantastic power team, you know, planners, architects, all these engineers. And this is something that you'll grow as you come in, as you, as you get immersed you, you know, the great thing about this industry is it's a bit of a lonely journey to begin with, but slowly you start to build up a phenomenal team of people around you. And the networking is great because there's some fantastic people out there. I mean, Manny's amazing on social media. She's there all the time. You know, I'm a bit of the background guy. I'd like to do all the sort of uh, get my hands dirty and all the rest of it. So it, we all have our skill set. So find out what your skill set, what's your passion, immerse yourself on that. And I'm sure you guys, whoever it is, you know, it's a great industry to be in. And certainly I would say a great time to get into it. Now is the time, I said, there's never such a good time as now. You know, people say, oh, but what about this and what about COVID? If you want to do it now, because it's never going to be the perfect time. Yeah. No, I, I would say also, you know, there's a lot, of, where there's chaos, there's opportunity. So while a lot of, and it's the educated that will have the strategic advantage and the competitive advantage. 
And that's what I would say. That's the last message I'd say to somebody. Educate yourself, understand, find your niche, jump on it, and believe you me, you'll do very well.